What's up guys, it's Austin at Public Land Pursuits and today I'm gonna do a review of my NUMA Waypoint jacket and then the matching NUMA Waypoint pant. Um, so this jacket, I got it probably, probably about three months ago, used it for the majority of the hunting season and I've loved it so far. Uh, I'd say it's a low to mid weather jacket. It'd be a comfortable jacket wearing with just one undershirt down to about 40 degrees. Then you can layer more on top of that to go even colder with such as this insulator jacket you can put under it to go even warmer. But some of the features of this jacket, it's got a multitude of pockets. So it's got these two zippered chest pockets right here. These are really nice for putting like, you can put like a range finder or something in there. You can put your phone in there, a call, something nice. It's easy to get to right in your chest. Then it's also got a sleeve pocket right here. Um, one thing that's kind of nice to put in here is tags. If you want to put a tag in there, you, but you could also put a phone or something like that in there too. Just anything small. Then it's also got two pockets down here, just hand pockets. You can put anything you want in there. The plethora of pockets on this makes it a really nice jacket. And then it's also got these zip through pockets on the side. So these go down underneath the jacket, down to your next layer. So if you're wearing a sweatshirt or another jacket underneath and you need to get into those pockets too, you can open up the whole jacket and get down into there like that. So that's really nice being able to do that. So that's got a really nice hood on it too. Um, it's a three point adjustable hood. So you can adjust it right here to cinch it down. Same thing right here. Then on the back of the hood, it has an adjustment right here to tighten it around your head. Um, then if you want, you can take the hood off too. If you don't really need a hood, if you have a hood on one of your underlayers, you just unbutton it. Then it's got a zipper back here, right there. Unzip it. And it is off. So then you just got coat without it without your hood um, as far as waterproofing goes this jacket isn't 100% waterproof it does have a DWR coating which is kind of nice um, I'll show you what it does when exposed to water I've been out in rain pretty good rain for up to two two and a half hours in this jacket without getting soaked um, if you're out in a pouring rain for longer than two and a half hours you're probably gonna get wet eventually wearing this but that's really not what it's made for it's not really made to be 100% waterproof the Selkirk jacket they make is, and I have that one as well, and I will do a review of that one um, if anyone's interested in that. But for the most part, this has been a really good jacket. And the one thing about NUMA that I like more than anything is all of their products have lifetime warranties. If you ever have any damage, any rips, any fading, any tears, anything, you call up the company and they will replace it. No questions asked, they'll either fix it or replace it. So. This is a one-stop shop. I mean, you buy this stuff, it's a little bit pricey. I think this jacket's about 230 bucks, but once you buy it, you got it forever. It's always gonna be replaced if it breaks, anything. It's no questions asked on the warranty. So it's totally worth it in my opinion because I've always, you know, I've gotten nice stuff before, but give it a couple years and it wears out and you need something new and you always gotta buy something new. With this stuff, you're never gonna have to buy anything new. It's it's perfect. It's it's. It's great camo for a decent price, and you'll never, never have to buy new stuff. Um, it does have a uh, hole in the back for a safety belt too. It's this grid material on the inside. It's really warm. Like I said, down to about 40 degrees. With just this and an undershirt, you'll be good. Um, then I also got the pants. I'll show you. And I really like the pants too. So here's the pants. These pants, I. I love these pants. I'm even more of a fan of pants, the pants than the jacket. So with these pants, um, what you got is you have your regular pockets right here. Then you have zippered pockets in the rear for your wallet and whatever else you want to put in there. Um, then it's also got front zippered pockets, pockets on your thighs right here. I put a lot of stuff in these pockets too. Um, pretty much as many pockets as you could ever need for anything between the pants and the jacket. This is one of my favorite features of these pants, actually is, you can't really see it, it just looks like a seam right there when you're just looking at it, but there's actually a zipper here, and you can zip open the pants at the crotch right there for if you're getting really hot and hiking, and it may not look like much, but being able to zip that open and vent right there makes a huge difference. And it's really 
designed well, it, it hides itself in the seam. Like if you're just looking at that, you can't even tell it's there. So it's a really good design and it makes a big difference when you're out hiking, getting hot. Then these pants also have a knee pad that you can take in or out in the knees and it's a game changer for stocking really because when you're on your hands and knees crawling, having these knee pads in here makes a huge, huge difference. And you can take them out if you want to when you're hiking and then put them in when you go on a stock, but I always just leave mine in. I never even, you can't even really notice they're there um, when you're hiking, so I just leave mine in. They never really bother me at all. Having them is really, really nice. And then they'll zip up to knee level, uh, so you can take them on and off with your boots on. You can layer with them really easy. Um, on the belt loop, it's an elastic. It's elastic around there, so you can stretch the size out a little bit if you want to. Um, it's really nice. It's got this, like, it's like a rubberish type material all the way around the belt. So when you tuck a shirt, it holds it. If you want, your shirts won't come untucked. And then to latch it, it's got a metal latch and then a second button too. They never come undone. Um, it's got a ton of belt loops for putting a belt on. And this, just like the other, just like the jacket, has a lifetime warranty. Anything happens to it, it's going to get replaced for free or fixed. So it's really, really hard to go wrong with this stuff, guys. I'm telling you. Um, I have a bunch of their gear. I have this whole Waypoint system, the Selkirk system, and the insulator system. I'll do a review on that other stuff here coming soon. But I'm going to show you guys what the waterproofing layer kind of does with this first. Um, like I said, it's not 100% waterproof but it does a really good job at repelling water in a light rain or even a steady rain for up to a couple hours. So I'll show you what that does and then check back in. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you kinda, I got the hood from the uh, Waypoint jacket here and I'm gonna kinda show you what this DWR coating does when you put water on it. So you can see it just kinda pulls up and then falls right off. Like I can make a little pop, pop puddle in there. You can see that puddle of water sitting in there. But then it just runs right off. It doesn't soak it in at all. And like I said, it'll do this for a considerable amount of time before it soaks through. You can just see that water is just running right off that hood real good. So it's a pretty good system, really. For not being advertised as fully waterproof, it'll keep you pretty dry. I mean, this faucet is the equivalent of a freaking downpour, and it's just running right off like crazy so it's a pretty good system it's not fully waterproof but it can withstand a decent amount of rain before you even think about getting wet so definitely worth what I paid for it for sure and what you'll pay for it